Hey guys, what's up? Um, so, I got some good news. Uh, both of my goalie heads have been sold. Uh, the one, it's not fully finalized yet, but it's for uh, this guy, my OG, uh, white, when I'm white, a little maroon. Um, yeah, that uh, guy messaged me about uh, my PayPal info, so I'm guessing he's pretty serious about buying it. So, the, um, the blue one, that is heading uh, to Massachusetts as we speak. Uh, I dropped it off at the post office today, went for the overnight shipping because uh, the kid needed it by Sunday, So, um, which the kid is uh, KK Stringings. Um, I, I don't know if he had a game or whatever this weekend, but um, yeah, he said he needed it by Sunday, so figured with the holiday on Monday and you know stuff like that, it, it probably would be tough unless I did uh, overnight. So. Shipped it out, and uh, holy crap, overnight shipping is expensive. But, uh, yeah, I uh, went up to the counter, and she's like, uh, $33.75. I'm like, all right. So I, you know, made it up. It's on its way. So, um, anyway, um, due to a couple trades recently, um, I also have a couple new additions to my lacrosse family. Uh, one being, I uh, got this nice black CEO. Um, I got this from uh, DMG180. I traded my um, Blade Pro that uh, I'm not sure if I put it in a video or not. But um, what happened was I traded my NAS, got a Blade Pro. I'm so used to offset heads that just the Blade Pro just felt weird. And I just could not get used to it no matter how hard I tried. So... I um I switched uh, traded that to him because he loves the Blade Pro so um and in turn he shipped me this uh pretty sweet condition black CEO it's almost murdered out except for the, like these black or um, white shooters so and uh, a little bit of the old gold um you know it's got his uh, Basically tri top, but it's it's a little different than a, re a standard tri top. Um, so I'm gonna go probably throw with this for a little bit today and uh, see. It's got a pretty nice pocket in it, but um, I'm gonna see what I can do and uh, maybe switch that up a little bit. But um, the other adjustment or the other addition, I mean, to my uh, my lacrosse family is uh, very nice and uh, pretty rare to find in that size now, um, unless you already have one. But um, I made a trade again. I traded my um, Warrior Revolutionaire, the uh, gray one I had for a while, um, and I got this a nice Brian Eraser body pad. It's my size, very flexible. It's already broken in, so that cha that uh, saves a little bit of pain in the butt there. And uh, I know Brian recently came out with a uh, second edition to this, which is supposed to be a little lighter. But this one, as it is, it's so light. Um, and actually, they say it's got memory foam too. But um, pushing on the shoulders here, um, yeah, it kind of almost feels like there's memory foam to an extent in this one too. Um, it's very flexible. It should move right with you. I mean it's pretty low profile too. Uh, not as low as uh, the cell chest protector I had, or still actually have, which uh, if you want to buy it, that's uh, cool just offer. Um, like I said, that, that's an excellent chest protector. Uh, both of them are actually. The uh, the eraser, the, but the eraser is staying in my bag for a long, for a while. Um, the thing is, uh, my cell chest protector, it just didn't fit my shoulders right. Um, so that's why I'm I'm selling it. Otherwise, it's an excellent pad. Um, pretty awesome. So uh, if you want, just uh, like before. Uh, PM me in my uh, messaging box there and uh, let's see what, what type of deals we can make. So uh, 
Otherwise, um, I don't think I forgot anything. But I am working on getting another Nemi light now that I traded or uh, sold the two. Um, sold my two other Nemis. I'm going to probably uh, get a nice brand new Nemi light and uh, string up the stuff. Like I said, I, uh, I did stretch it out because I just think it's awesome. And uh, just figured I would stretch it for a couple of days, you know, stretch it, let it relax, stretch it some more, let it relax a little bit. And um, then by the time I'm ready to string it, it's, it's going to, you know, really hold its shape well and, uh, you know, shouldn't have any type of bagging. So working on that. And uh, otherwise, I think I have a couple of uh, awesome things coming up for you guys. Um, Alex, um, the guy I did the AD1 pocket for, he bought himself a shield and he's having it shipped to me to string. So um, you guys get the bonus because in turn I'm going to be uh, doing a review for it. Um, I did notice Sportstop did a video overview of it and it seems kind of like a heavy head but again I'll let you guys know when I get it. Um, it's got the nice C channel technology to it which is supposed to reduce weight but add strength. Obviously I'm not going to take, take it to my testing field and just beat the hell out of somebody's new stick. Um, that's not cool. So I'm just going to string it and send it to them. And, uh, He'll give me a little performance review of it, I guess. So, um, otherwise, another guy I mentioned he's going to be sending me a wall. It's a um, box goalie head. So I'm guessing it's like freaking this long, won't even fit in the screen. Um, it's huge. So I got to figure out. It's obviously got to be open sidewall, and you know, just doing a little pro, uh, preliminary planning for that. Um, I saw a thrown a string did a similar. I think it might have even been a wall. Um, it looked awesome. So I figure if I'm stuck, I'll probably just you know refer to him and uh, find out. But um, I'm guessing it's going to have to be open sidewall. And uh, when I order the mesh, I might see if I can somehow get a you know extra log piece, just so I don't have to fill in the bottom with like ridiculously long bottom string crisscrossing here and kind of make it look sloppy um, so I'll see what I can do there and then um, otherwise I don't know but um, the hockey strike continues or lockout continues kind of pissed me off because now they actually canceled part of the regular season uh, no bueno I can't continue to see a Buffalo team losing so I, I want my Sabres back um, all I have is the Bills right now. And I'm not even a fan of the Bills. I just watch them because I live here. I like Green Bay, but when you got a local team, you work with people that love your local team. All you hear about is that local team. And although I don't care, and I want to just tell them, dude, shut up, I don't care, I'm not that jerk in the office. <laughs> so I I kind of pity them because they grew up here and – they don't know any better. So um, I didn't grow up in an NFL city. So I, I moved here later on in life. So, um, yeah, I feel uh, I don't have to be a Bills fan by default. I don't even have to like well, – I should probably like a New York team by default. But I don't. It's simple. I've liked Green Bay since I was, you know, wee little guy just starting off in football. So probably like seventh grade was when I started. So. Now that I'm done with college, it's a lot of years of being a fan. So, all right, uh, video is getting long. So, um, bye guys.